Hey guys, it's XTC and welcome to episode 32 of my Let's Play. There's half a stack of videos for you guys. Um, I've just went through a bunch of stuff, as you can see, I've got tons of tin and copper, good amount of iron, and gold too, which is good, and silver, plenty of that stuff. So this sorting system is working well. Um, this is able to now keep up with uh, all the stuff I chuck in there, I haven't added anything, it just seems to have itself up there. So now it's uh, usually at the max and I can charge up myself pretty quickly without having to wait too long and worry about me running out of power, which is good. But I think I'm going to, before I go over there, chuck or lag um, some of this stuff away. Oops, not that. Let's uh, grab my overclockers. Very helpful. Let's chuck this so much in here and that. Don't need it. And just put this in my chest. Over here. Oh. And let's see what we've got. A queen. What? Infertile specimen? Oh, I've never seen that. But I'll, I'll leave that there for now. I just want to actually finish building the apiary before I do anything with those bees. Okay, so as I mentioned last episode, these four spots will be where apiaries will be. And I'm just gonna... Oh, that's a lot of lag. I think it's the portals doing that. Let's close them. Still a bit of lag, oh well. So I'm just gonna build up this apiary. I'm thinking I should leave a few windows. Maybe like... Sorry, this is really loud. Maybe a three hole here and... Here. Just on these sides, because... To be honest, I don't think you'll see much from any of the other sides. Like the front and the back. Oops. That's good, you won't see anything from that side. Not much from this side either, but oh well. Just do it anyway just to make it match. And the whole roof will definitely be glass, or well, pretty much the whole roof. At least above each apiary. And I had an idea of that. I was thinking of cutting these up into a bunch of these uh, covers. So there we go, I've already got stacks of this stuff. And if I can pick it up. And I'm thinking one, two, three, four high is good. So just doing that along the roof, I think that'll look pretty good actually. So I'll be doing that in a moment after I finish up the walls. So I'll do that off camera, or maybe uh, I'll do it uh, sped up, so you guys don't have to watch uh, the boring bits. Alright, so I'll be right back.
Hey guys, um, it's finished. Look at that. It's really cool, I reckon. And it's pretty good. I like it. I added some windows because it just looked a little, a little strange without them. So there's a two by two windows there. The roof is all done. It looks really good. So now it's time to build those apiaries. Now I haven't done much with forestry yet, so this will be the first time I'm making something significant from forestry. First I'll need to dump uh, all this dirt in here that I don't need. And let's grab ourselves some copper and tin. Now, forestry uses a lot of uh, bronze and it uses a, its own type of bronze which is made like this bronze ingot, so it's a little different to the industrial craft version but you can use it anyway as well, you can use uh, industrial craft bronze to make the stuff but oh well. Now we need four apiaries, each one's going to require one of these guys this is a sturdy machine so it's just like making a machine in industrial craft and I'll grab four of those. Next, I will need to grab myself a bit of wood. I'll just make a bunch. Bunch of sticks, there we go. And I need to make myself some gears. Thirteen. I think I need three more. There we go. Now I need to upgrade them to stone ones. So I'll grab myself a bunch of cobblestone. Oh. There we go. And then upgrade them to tin. But I don't have enough. So tin gears are a part of forestry, they don't come with normal build craft. Here we go, tin gears. And I'm gonna need some... Let's just let me check the recipe. Can't remember exactly off the top of my head. Apiary. There we go. Okay, so I was, I was right, I need glass. Wait, I'm making... 16, no I'm not making 16 right, yep, there we go, 4 apiaries, just have lots of glass, that's all, confused myself, awesome, and I'm going to place these down, then uh, go to sleep, because it's getting dark out, and it's going to be extremely dark in there, let's go to sleep now, so what these will do basically is, you breed your bees in them, um, they have a lifespan, some longer, some shorter, and they will produce a few products for you which will be useful in the long run you can also uh, crossbreed different species to get better um, species so let's, uh, let's just have a look. apiary it's telling me that there's no queen inside you place a queen in the top slot um, it'll have a lifespan and while it reduces slowly it'll produce stuff for us and that's uh, where you place a drone to breed with a princess which will get uh, dropped here when the queen dies. So I'm gonna go and that's uneven. I'll fix that up and I'm gonna see if I can find myself some more queens. So I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I uh, found this uh, beehive outside. It's not too far from my base, it's just over there. If I collect it with my scoop, I'll get myself a forest princess and a forest... two forest princesses. What? Hmm, not sure how you meant to get drones. I must have missed something, but oh lava. Okay. Um but I'm pretty sure it used to give you queens, but that's been changed. And I'm just gonna quickly walk around here and see if I can, if I can find any more of those beehives. Now um I'll probably only find those forest beehives here because this is a forest biome. To find the other type of be that you can find uh, naturally spawned. Um, they're known as forest queens, and you find them in plains biomes, basically. So I won't be finding them here. So I'll keep looking and see what I can find. There's a lot of lag here. 
Okay, so I went exploring in a swamp biome, and yeah, there are a lot of rubber trees here. I might actually even want to go and actually, no, I can easily collect some of this wood and make myself a tree tap. What happened to my achievements? You're kidding me. Oh, what? I spent like an episode. gonna give up now on those achievements. That's very disappointing. Probably because I updated Railcraft, but no, uh, that's a shame. Um, no, not enough wood. Sorry if this uh, thing is a bit loud. And of course it's turning night. Probably only need one. There's a beehive. And if I can grab a bunch of the stuff and then I'll go see what I get from that beehive. There are a lot of rubber trees here. places to find rubber trees, but uh, that's how rubber trees work, they spawn, oh, and oil, they spawn in swamps a lot, so that's why there's a bunch over here, and I'm not even, not even gonna collect it, collect it all now, probably getting a little dark for you guys, so I'm probably close a bit, that's cool, <laughs> so let me grab my scoop and let's see what I get, let's see, Meadows Drone, Meadows Princess. So I don't know why I got two princesses from this. I should have gotten a drone and a princess. But that's alright, let's head home. Ooh, that can't be good. Wait, that's set on the frequency one. Okay. Let's head home. By the way, uh, I found a few wolves out in the forest. So I tamed them and brought them back here. So we've got a few bees to start off with, and I think I'm going to chuck them in my apiary after I grab my other queen that I had. I think I got that from a dungeon, no, because I can't, you can get bees from dungeons, but I'm pretty sure I found that one um, outside when I was clearing out my uh, the space for a house. Where did I put it? Must be in other mod items? Yep. Infertile specimen rejuven rejuvenate in an apiary. Okay, I'll do that. Chuck it in an apiary and let's see what it does. No monsters, good. There we go. And a, oh, great! More princesses. I've got four princesses, pr princesses, and one drone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself a few more um, meadows, drones and princesses. This will breed them, put the drone in the bottom slot, and this should turn into a meadows queen. Yep. And that's going to do its thing. It's got a health bar. It'll slowly go down and you'll produce a few products for me. Now, putting princesses together in an apiary won't really do much. I'm going to need a drone. Hopefully I get more than one. But I'm actually... Oh, what? How did you get in here? Let me grab some bones. You stay right there. Actually, you're coming with me. Yeah, that's right. You can carry mobs with the portal gun. How awesome is that? Poor wolf. It's just stuck there. Okay, you come down. Press G, by the way, by default, to grab blocks or mobs. Come here. No, don't run away. Oh, nice. Just one bone. Good dog. Okay. Okay, so I went exploring a bit, and I did not catch it on camera, but take my word for it, I found 
a forest, no, not a forest, a jungle biome in the, which was uh, introduced in a new patch. You should know this. Um, and I found a tropical princess and a tropical drone. Now, um, something that was a bit weird about it was um, I found the new jungle trees, right? But I'm pretty sure they added in the new jungle wood um, in the patch with the uh, new jungles, but. All my jungle trees were made out of the regular wood, so I don't know what that was. Um, but I don't know, it may be a bug or something. But I made it back and I have a few of these princesses and drones. And I'm just going to kill these. I have some more XP. Awesome. And yes, I do know that I have no, put no flowers in my, around my apiaries. So I think I need to do that. You need to place at least, I think, one or two around them before they start working. Um, so if I just place a few around the place. And it should start working. No flowers. Not daytime. Oh, well. That's alright, I'll fix that. Um, one of my uh, viewers was nice enough to tell me that, um, in my last episode that is, and uh, left a comment telling me that I don't need that much space for these apiaries, and he's quite right. Um, but I think it looks pretty good like this. Uh, maybe eventually I'll add some more apiaries in here, so I'll have space for more of those for a bit of expansion and a bit of work maybe with pipes to automate some of the processes, so yeah, that's cool. This guys, yep, you can see just barely, but the Meadows Queen is slowly losing health. And over time, these flowers will spread, at least around this one, while there's a queen in there. That's cool. So, yeah, that's started. Do I have a drone? Let's. Well, before I start crossbreeding, I'm thinking I want to just um, breed this tropical princess with this tropical drone. That way I'll get a few more of these tropical drones, then maybe I'll think about crossbreeding. But for now, I'll just stick with uh, breeding them together with the same uh, same type, I guess you would say. All these are princesses, so yeah. And I believe these have a chance of poisoning you if you stay around. Well, one of them did, and I think it was the tropical one, but I'm not too sure. I'll have to read on the wiki. But anyway, I can chuck these bees back in here, don't need them now. Chuck these in here. And that's cool. I'm around level 22. Do I want to make... Yeah, I think I want to make an enchanting room. That's why I've been collecting all this sugar cane. Oh, by the way, I went when I went to the forest biome, I collected a bunch of these... Uh, vines and stuff, which I've taught to my transmutation table, so if I want I can use them to decorate my house, that'll be good, but let's see, I'm thinking I want my enchanting room to be uh, upstairs here where I was going to put my apiary, but obviously there wasn't enough space for it, so if I climb up here, is this enough room for a I think I can just put it up here actually. Have the chanting table here. This will kind of wreck the look of it, but that's alright. See, if I have the table right here, just to, for example, if I have that there, I have to have bookcases all around. Yeah, that'll work. It won't look the best, but it will work, which is what's important. Okay, so let me get rid of these. I'll be right back when I'm ready to a bit of more interesting building. Okay guys, a slight change of plans here, sorry about that, but um, I just, whoa, that looks weird. Um, it just wasn't going to work out too well up there. Once again, there wasn't enough space, so I've gone downwards. And I'm not going to leave this ladder here, I have a better way of getting up and down later on, but for now, here's what I'm thinking. The reason why I didn't have enough space was because I wanted to do a few things with pistons where I could control the amount of bookshelves so I could uh, choose the levels I want because unfortunately I don't have uh, unlimited levels so 
sometimes I'll probably have to go with a lower level enchantment so I might want to get rid of a few bookshelves but I do want to have the option to be able to enchant higher levels too so I had gravel here so I changed it to changed it to sandstone I think it looks pretty good I might use that actually but yeah this is what I ran into while I was down here yeah that so oh and sand that's not good oh a chicken fell in <laughs> that's good so I'll have to work around it I guess just have to block it off or something okay that's not gonna work there there's a bit of sandstone down here. I might just grab some of this because I don't have much on me. But I do have lots of cobble. Let's fill this in. Okay. So the enchanting table will go right here in the middle. And these represent bookshelves all around. That's perfect. I just need to push this lava back a bit wall. Let me put the stone right here so I can quickly place it. Nice. Whoa. That's not good. Come on quickly, get to water. Come on, I need water around here. I don't know, I probably got a bucket in my inventory, but oh well. Oh, close. No, I don't. Okay. Okay, so I grabbed myself a few slime balls and bookshelves. I'm going to make some pistons. 30 will do. And I grabbed some slime balls using a transmutating, transmuting, transmutation table. There we go, got 30 pistons. And I'm gonna grab myself some of this red alloy ingots. And I have no redstone left. It's so, alright, I'll grab more from uh, my mine downstairs later on. But basically, I'm gonna have to end the episode here. Because we're reaching that 20 minute mark. Actually, we're probably over by now. But what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll probably save most of it for next episode. But I'll have pistons that push up and down. Uh, these bookshelves and basically how it works is oops bookshelves will only uh, increase the level available by the enchanting table if it's uh, either right next to it or on level ground or one above so what the pistons will do is either pull them up here where it won't affect it or pull it down here where it also won't affect it. So that way I can have some up and some down and vary the levels which I want to enchant. So that'll be cool. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. As I said next episode I'll finish off this room and hopefully I'll be able to enchant some cool items. So thanks for watching guys.